Today I'd like to show you an alternative to using the paper clips and the tape and the magnet sitting on top of the battery. Uh, this is a simple motor to build, but it's not always the most reliable. So I thought I would show you a product called the World's Simplest Motor. The package looks something like this. There are very complete instructions on the back on how to build it. Uh, the kit is fairly simple, and let's take a closer look. The kit comes with the base, the magnet, two supports, and wire to make the coil. The only thing you need to add is a battery to power it. Now to make the coil, the wire is simply wrapped around the battery about eight or nine times. The ends of the wire are then wrapped around the coil, both sides, that's going to hold it together. You can use one of the supports to scrape all the enamel off of the one side of the wire. On this side you're just going to scrape the top half and leave the enamel on the bottom half. And then the coil is ready to go. To assemble it, the supports go through the bottom. The battery snaps into place. The magnet's fitting on top of there and it's held there because it's magnetic and it sticks to the battery. And then simply put the coil on, give it a push, and off it goes. Now I made some changes to the coil just for the fun of it. So let's see what we have. In this case I added a little flag to the one side. Now I've had some students put tape in the center and then draw on both sides so as it spins it blends the two pictures together like a bird in a bird cage. It's a classic example. This coil is flattened out, more of an oval than round. This is a square coil. Give it a push. Goes. And my last change is I made a coil look like a heart. Now this one would be good for St. Valentine's Day. Put it on, give it a push. Now once it's spinning it, does, it doesn't look like a heart anymore. Those are some of the changes we made to our simple motors. I hope you found this interesting and stay tuned because I have other motors I'd like to show you.